What's up guys? So I'm kind of excited right now because I'm on my way to uh, a friend's house and I'm gonna get my frame painted. So let's roll, roll the intro. We got two bodies. something I've been wanting to do for a while just because you know I'm kind of got tired of the color and I really don't want to buy another frame right now I kind of like the frame I'm riding so um, pretty much I'm gonna get it painted and it's gonna be like a new bike so I'm on my way right now we're gonna start the you know the whole process and you know I'm gonna document it first time kind of painting a carbon frame so I'm a little scared um, but from what Yeti told me as long as I don't sand into the carbon I should be good so, um, yeah. So pretty much what we're doing now is using a, a test swing arm to see where the paint's gonna come out. All our stuff right here. That's the actual bike to be painted. The other thing setting up the gun. That's our paint. No, now you, you wait. You wait until this tax up. It's kind of like what it's gonna look like. Now we're just testing out the paint. It's pretty sick. It's a midnight blue. So painting is being postponed uh, until tomorrow. We Finished sanding down, getting off all the, the lettering and Yeti graphics and stuff like that. Um, we hit it with, was it 200, 250? And then uh, went down up to 800 and smoothing it out pretty much. So right now it's pretty smooth. Um, this is a test, test swing arm. That's cracked, but you can see it's not too bad. It's pretty good, but this isn't gonna be the color. I changed my mind. Um, we did have to fill some holes. There was a couple little scratches. There you go. A couple little scratches. Now those are flat. Uh, a couple in there. You know, the usual from rocks and from like rocks and shit like that. Another one right here. But that's all sanded smooth. And it should be ready to paint tomorrow. So it's day two of painting my bike. Um, right now we're just doing prep work. We were uh, sanding and all that. Just pretty much prepping it. Gonna use some tag cloth and stuff like that and get it ready for primer, then paint. Just a professional painter wiping down the rear swing with tag cloth. So nothing attaches as he paints the bike. cloth is supposed to be so nothing gets stuck to the frame before you paint it. First coat of primer. It's supposed to be gray, but it looks more like white. I guess it's like gray. Pretty much right now, this is just two cans of primer. What else? One coat of silver. So here's what we're using. I'm not using that. 
comes in an automotive clear and spray cans pretty much. What we're doing so the spray cans come out nice is we're actually preheating the cans. <laughs> like that. <laughs> I'll be careful because you don't want that shit to blow up. But uh, using tag paper and kind of doing it by hand. This is Picasso right here. So we're still here pretty much painting. Um, pretty much the rear, the rear swing arm is done and it looks freaking sick. All it needs is like a little bit of a polish with a, you know, with a DA and um, some polishing compound and it's gonna shine pretty well. sanding it, smoothing out the paint to so give it its last coat of clear. That way the paint or the clear gets on there nice and smooth. This is pretty much the last stage of clear. I just wet sanded both uh, pieces with 2500 grit sandpaper. And uh, just getting the last coat of clear before we take these home and polish them. This is the finished product. He ended up putting, finishing the can of uh, clear, which is that Disney color automotive clear on the whole bike. So now it's six coats. Shine. <laughs> like a hanger rack on my truck. So here she is all built up, um, did a couple upgrades, actually changed all the cables and wires and all that maintenance wise. Um, upgraded my drivetrain to 12 speed, uh, upgraded the wheels, still riding aluminum, no carbon, um, but I have the Hydra hubs. And uh, besides that, it's pretty much a solid bike now. One thing I can actually give you guys advice if you guys are looking to paint your frame and take this on is um, try to get yourself an actual paint gun from Harbor Freight to like 60 bucks for the clear. That was the main point. This whole bike was done with spray cans besides the clear. The clear was actually automotive clear that I got at AutoZone and um, I sprayed that on with uh, an actual spray gun. The rest of it was done with the spray cans and it turned out pretty good. Just remember to sand, you know, light sand with like a thousand grit or 1200 grit. You can even go 2000 grit um, to make your paint nice and smooth for each application and do that after every base coat. That way the paint, you know, looks nice and smooth and you don't get that orange peel or fish eye effect. Um, besides that, it was uh, nerve wracking to do and I'm happy it came out as good as it did. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it and uh, subscribe if you like these types of videos. I'll catch you guys in the next one.